Now that you have disassembled your HW80, you want to assemble it again, right? Just proceed in reverse order. Take your moly coated piston and slide it carefully back into the chamber with the rail for the cocking shoe showing upwards. And after you've done that, take a punch and align the, the piston with the cutout of the chamber. Then you can take your barrel and cocking arm assembly, place the cocking shoe into the piston first. On your air rifle you should have attached the cocking shoe first onto the cocking arm, but mine is already attached. Slide the cocking shoe into the piston and the breech into the joint and then take one shim first and align the shim and breech with the joint with your punch. Then you take the one washer and then you slide in the pivot bolt and do the same on the other side. Take a shim, place it between the breech and joint and align it with your punch. Oh, this is a bit tricky now. Screw on the left side first, then turn the metal action around and place in the next washer. Now, now I have screwed up here, the washer get, got caught up on the thread of the pivot bolt. Ah, sometimes it's a little bit difficult. And now you can screw in the the screw head on the right. Don't screw don't don't tighten the pivot ball too much. You want to have a freely moving barrel. It, sh it should move freely and smoothly. Check again if it's smooth and you have successfully attached the barrel to the joint. Now you can proceed with the spring, spring and spring guide. Place it into the piston And then you need to screw on the end cap into the chamber. You can do this with hand with your hand first, but the last few millimeters you have to use your spanner again. Now you see your, I'm showing you that you need to align the end cap with the chamber. You can see this on the 11 mm rail for the for the scopes. Take your spinner again, wrap it around in a rack or cloth and place it inside the 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 end cap and whack with your hammer or screwdriver. You 
this takes a little bit of time now because you have to you have to carefully align the end cap with the chamber. I'm checking all the time the alignment of the end cap. It's almost done as you can see. You can check by eye or with your fingers if the end cap is correctly aligned with the chamber. You can feel it with your fingernails. Just a few wax now and it's aligned correctly. I'm checking again. And now it should be done. I'm showing you that the end cap is now correctly aligned. As you can see, perfectly aligned. Now you can insert the trigger unit into the end cap. First cock the trigger push down on the piston sear. Now the trigger is cocked. I forgot to insert the safety pin first. Do this before you place the trigger unit into the end cap. Now noticing the safety pin is missing. Place it inside the safety hole, press it down and push the trigger unit further in. The trigger unit should hold the safety pin in place. It shouldn't pop out. Then you can punch in the two pins for the trigger unit. Takes a little bit of time to punch them. In. And now I'm done with that. Don't forget to Decock the trigger unit by pressing the trigger before you proceed. I've forgotten to do this. You won't be able to... Well, you can cock the rifle, but the piston will not engage with the piston sear. Place the metal action back into the stock. Only four screws left till we are finished.
turn the rifle around and screw in the other front screw. And now you can put the trigger guard in place and tighten the last two screws. And that's it. Completely assembled HW80 or V-Man Air 1 air rifle. Checking the barrel movement and we are finished.